What's cracking, guys? Bruce Madsen here, your host show of Metro Scout Fantasy Football. Currently not in my studio right now. I'm in one of my offices getting some work done, but I figured I'd shoot up a quick vid. As you all know, I've been sharing clips from OTAs, mini camps, training camp, whatever I can find off social media, and just giving you some quick analysis on that. I had a request for Travis Etienne. I've been sharing some clips of him as of lately, but you guys been wanting more, and I got more. I actually had some saved on the computer ready to share, but I just had so much stuff to unload to you guys that I just haven't had time to get it on. But since you guys requested it, I'm going to do it now. And right now, we're going to be looking at Travis Etienne. And this one's actually a mashup of like three, maybe four clips. It's 22 seconds long. Usually, it's about one clip at a time. And that's because they just come in as they come in on social media. If it's on Twitter that day and it's just one clip of CD Lamb, then that's all I got. I could just save them, but I don't know when the next clip's coming in. Usually some players you know, but some players you don't know, and some pl clips are not even worth showing. But I got a little mashup here, Travis Etienne, that I grabbed while I was on vacation last week, and let's go over them real quick. 22 seconds of Travis Etienne just working in training camp. This is from last week, him getting the handoff there. And then this one, I believe he's running a route. Bam. Watch him drop the hips. He moves very smooth for a running back. Got good footwork. Here's him taking a handoff from Trevor there. Seeing him get some work in. And one thing we can take away here is he looks pretty damn healthy. The Liz Frank issue doesn't appear to be an issue anymore. I also like seeing the footwork here, especially on the route. I like how smooth he is there. There's no rounding there. Again, this is just a drill. You're not getting full go. You're not getting him trying to be assertive, operating with intent. That's not how it really works on drills. You're seeing him probably get a little sweat on, get some work in. So you really got to take some of this with a grain of salt, but I say that with all these clips because I have to say it or someone's going to mention it in the comments. However, key takeaway, he's looking healthy, he's looking smooth, and running good. And I don't want to overlook anything. I don't want to look too far into anything. I just want to say he looks good for having a good, a bad injury last season, and he's on the field catching passes, getting work in. And as you all know, if I get more clips of Travis Etienne since you guys are requesting them, I will make them a priority and get them on the site, the channel for you guys to view so you can see them and you can get what I think. But I think he's looking good to go for the season. I think for fantasy football, I think he's a great upside pick at a great cost. I think the price is going to increase as we get further into August, as we get further into fantasy football draft season. But if you were able to take advantage of that discount from when he was injured, from when we didn't know. 100% know how healthy he was, then good on you because it looks like you're going to get a good return on your investment here. And I feel like he's so explosive that he could be a game changer for the Jaguars. Jaguar fans have to be excited about the combination of him and Trevor Lawrence, especially ETN, getting him back in the fold, just being able to see what he can do. And let me know in the comments what you think about him. Let me know, Jaguars fans, if you're excited about having him on your team fantasy have you been able to buy him like in some of my leagues i was able to get him in other leagues i wasn't sometimes he gets drafted a little higher than what you think and then sometimes he falls in drafts and you get that discount right now i bet you're going to see that price increase a little bit i'm not going to be surprised if it does but when i was drafting earlier this year i was able to stack up shares so i'm really not headhunting him because i got plenty especially in best ball leagues and everything else dynasty too so i'm not headhunting but i'm comfortable with shares i've got a good position with travis Etienne. but let me know what you think have you been able to buy are you fading whatever let us know in the comments make sure you smash that like button on the way out it really helps the video on the algorithm 
allows it to get shared among other people watching. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because I'm going to have more videos coming at you left and right. I probably would have had more last night, but my power went out. So expect two, three, four, five videos a day. This is my second one for the day. And with this setup I'm trying to manipulate here in my office, I'll probably be able to push out some more videos. But I want to thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next vid.